prove to yourself that you have the strength and the courage to be free. Join the Hell Divers. Boom! I'm fast reloading. Oh my god, look at all the guts on me. Bug guts. Don't worry about me, shoot me! Oh! <laughs> Clam! Don't die! <laughs> Leroy Jenkins! Oh god. To democracy! Michael Bay! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at me go. Woo! Here we go! And welcome everyone to the 1UP XP show, episode 108. Now this week, we're taking you into Helldivers 2. Now, it is a PlayStation exclusive, but you can now start playing PlayStation Day 1 on PC. And Helldivers 2 being on PC, we've had it for about two weeks. But the game has been so popular that servers have been over capacity. You can't be get into the game. It has just been very, very tough to play the game. Well, two weeks have gone by. They've fixed the server issue. You can get in instantly. And let me tell you, this game is a trip. So me, Clam, and Unknown, we jump into Helldivers. And we look to bring managed democracy across Super World. Super Earth. Whatever it is, it's fun. Check it out. Xbox. What? We're on PC. I have, a, I have a Xbox controller. Okay. So and nobody your uses a PlayStation controller? True. I, mean, I was just asking, man. I'm trying to teach you. I'm going to land. Oof. Oh, oh, you can move your pod? Home. Yeah. Sometimes it just kind of drifts and you can't really do much about it, but... I am interacting. And then zoom anything? in. Just press right stick. What the? F <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> nice. Oh, don't run in front of my bullets, nerd. It's okay, you only crippled my right <laughs> my leg. leg. It's fine. <laughs> it's okay. I'm gonna set up a perimeter. Okay. Stop doing that. The music's actually pretty good in this. Call it in. Do do do. Oh, I can't go over a skeleton of a dead animal. It's fine. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go. Dude, they came through the wall like water out of a faucet. <laughs> yeah, so uh, buildings and fences and everything are destructible. Clam! Don't die! <laughs> yeah. Freedom! So those red, uh, those red, like, circles with lines on the map? Oh! <laughs> hey, man, you gotta watch where you're going. <laughs> well, that sounds lovely. Point me to the bug hole. I got something. Follow us. Hold on. Over here. Don't close it. I got something for it. There's multiple. Oh, you just shot unknown. It's okay. I got clam. Look. Go! I'm oh going! Boy. Clam! 
Don't worry about me. Shoot me. Oh! <laughs> Oh, I got this. Requesting orbital strike. You like that? Boom. Ow, who threw that? That hurted. Giving him some democracy. Oh, God. One and another taste of oh democracy. Oh, my God. I'm out of grenades. This is even good. I'm fast reloading. Oh my god, look at all the guts on me. Bug guts. Can you guys throw your grenades in those holes? Uh, yeah, about that, bud. Here, I, I got that. <laughs> oh boy. Does that work? Um. Oh, that I don't have any more grenades. I got nades. I got nades. Don't worry. Throw them Throw in, the in the hole. Throw Fourth in the down hole. and seven. I'm on my way. I'm covering you. Right in the hole. Good job. Another one there. More multiple holes. <laughs> Guys. Oh, that thing just came out you. of it. Okay. What's eagle rearm? Uh, I am out of uh, grenades. Oh God! <laughs> I don't know where you were going, Virgil. Wait, can you put this down in the hole and blow it up? I don't know. If yeah, you can. Yep. <laughs> Nailed it. The oh, you spot call the extraction on. in? Yeah. Oh, I you thought got that was multiple incoming from the north. From the north, okay. Oh God! You killed yourself! <laughs> you blew up the entire base, dude. It's gone. Yeah, Where they at, yeah, man? Everything's destructible ah! in this game for the most part. Clam, you almost got squished. Oh, God. Have <laughs> <laughs> to go. <laughs> Dude, I was just going ham with the machine gun and then I just disintegrated. That's hilarious. There you go. A lot of fun. So grab some friends, grab the game if you have PlayStation or Windows, and enjoy. Fight for your freedom. Spread managed democracy. A lot of bug guts and robots all over the place. Coming up next, we sit down with our good buddy, Chris Bilski, the director over at Michigan State University and their esports program. And we talked to him about the amazing opportunities that they've had over the last year and also some new things that have just been unveiled. We'll have that coming up right after the break. And welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the 1UP XP show and interview time. We've been showing you showcasing some of the collegiate esports and back to the kind of the Collegiate programs, as promised in January, we started off with Eastern. We also sat down with Central, Marion. And now it's time to bring on one of our good friends of the show, Chris Bilski, Director of Esports there at Michigan State University. We talked to him when he was back at Grand Valley. Um, kind of made the jump to uh, Michigan State here in the last, oh man, was it about a year? Yeah, about a year and a half now. Yeah, a year and a half now. And he's setting up some pretty cool digs and some pretty cool events going on at Michigan State. So, Chris, welcome back, brother. Glad to have Thank you. Thank you for having me. Excited. Anytime you want me on, you know I'm here. <laughs> I know. And the same thing is like, hey, you want to come down here? It's like, yeah, I'll be down there. All right, let's start off with uh, some of the things that you've had going on this year. Um, right off the bat, um, to start the year, you guys joined two pretty prestigious uh, brand new leagues, if you will. Um, NACE, I believe it's Star League, and then also the equivalent of Big Ten. Um, not affiliated with Big Ten, but it's the Big Esports Conference. That's some pretty big news for you guys. I mean, major conferences designated to esports. How's that going so far for you guys? Yeah, so one of uh, kind of my goals or initiatives with our team and our program was to try to create competition among similar schools. Oh, yeah. 
it's it's the games just matter more when we're playing schools like Michigan or Ohio mm-hmm. State or, or you know schools that we have these this history and traditional rivalries with. So with that in mind, you know, one thing that I set out to do this year was, you know, if that competition doesn't exist, I'm going to help create it. Yeah. And it started with really NACE um, creating an opt-in conference um, for Division One schools uh, that has allowed us, you know, there's nine schools, all division one, all across the country. There's like us, Ole mm-hmm. Miss, Kansas, Missouri, yeah. you know, they're the big all, names. all big names, like pretty much all power five schools. Right. Yep. And uh, so we, we created that as a pilot program for the idea that down the road, um, regard, you know, it doesn't have to be just division one schools. If schools like the GLIAC mm-hmm. wanted to come together and have their own conference so that they can build off that, that history and those rivalries, they could form the same model, right? So if Ferris and Grand Valley and uh, Michigan Tech all wanted to come together and say, hey, within NACE, we just like to play each other on a weekly basis as well. That was really what we were piloting with the Division I um, kind of pilot program. And it's worked beautifully. Yeah. You know, the schools that have been a part of this, uh, I think to a to a school have all said that, you know, after doing this experience and getting the opportunity to have this week in, week out, you know, we, we never want to go back to kind of the general pool. Right. Uh, so that was part one of that. And then part two was working with um, a few of the other Big Ten schools to create this big esports conference, Yeah, which is 16 schools. So the, the 14 current Big Ten members plus USC and UCLA. And then uh, next year you're going to be growing again by another two, right? Yeah, Oregon and Washington yeah. um, for next year. So we'll be up to 18. Um, but we've been able to create competition just amongst our schools. Which is awesome. <laughs> Yeah, the format is it's you know it's a fifteen week season, mm-hmm. um, so it's been kind of a longer season spread across the two semesters. But every week we play a different school yep. across all the games. So there's there's four games: Overwatch, Rocket League, Valorant, and Smash. Mm-hmm. For our varsity program right now, we have Rocket League, Smash, and Valorant. So those are the the three games that we play in. But like on Michigan week, we get to play Michigan across all those four games, and then you know the next right. week it might be Indiana, and we play them across the four games. And the week after that, it might be Illinois. And so it's been a really nice format for, you know, helping to market and create some excitement because you're getting to play that school the whole week. Yeah. And with that round robin format, you know, you get at least a week against every school, you know, 15 weeks for 16 schools, you you get to play everybody once. Excitingly coming up here, uh, April 12th and 13th, we're going to have our, our LAN event or our conference tournament. Where's that going to be at? That's going to be in Columbus, Ohio. Oh, nice. So you're playing at OSU. With you at Michigan State, you've had a plethora of things here. Uh, it almost seems like happened out of the wind, but I know you've been working hard at it behind uh, behind the scenes. But you have your brand new digs. You now have an eSports arena there at uh, East Lansing, which is absolutely phenomenal. You've partnered with, I'm assuming, Alienware and Intel uh, to get this up and running. Tell us about this new place you guys got there for the kids. And I'm assuming campuses, there's a check-in behind you. So I, I got to assume everybody's a little welcome. Yeah. So this is uh, the MSU or the Alienware MSU Esports Lounge. Okay. And it really is kind of a multi-purpose facility for us. Um, you know, it's an opportunity or a space where anybody on campus can come and play and, you know, everything's provided for them. They need only to bring themselves. Um, but also it's a space that, uh, the clubs, you know, we have a very vibrant and thriving club community mm-hmm. here at Michigan State. Uh, you know, if they're looking to have their club meetings or host events, you know, we wanted it to be a space that they could utilize as well. And then, then there's also a broadcasting studio. Oh, nice, yeah. In here too. So, you know, for as far as like whether it's streaming our matches or an event we're doing, or if the club wants to do something as well, you know, going mm-hmm. back to giving them opportunities, that's going to be a space that we can do. So this space opened up just about a month ago. Um, it is one of two spaces we'll have done by the end of the semester. Uh, we have another space opening up and I, we just got the furniture in. I have seen it and it's, it's, it's very exciting. Um, it's going to be more of our varsity focused space. Mm -hmm. Um, And that one will be a bit bigger. Um, like have glass competition booths and everything that you need to to run your varsity program. Also a, a very, you know, a, a larger broadcast studio in that space as well. You're not just sitting behind a desk and getting things going as a director uh, by any means. Uh, we were together in December at the MHSEL uh, semifinals and finals. Uh, I saw, I think, last week you were doing some signing for some new kids coming up in the years ahead. Not to mention you also planned and took two amazing trips uh, for events. Uh, the first being you went to Honolulu, Hawaii, for an event um, and took your team and uh came out on top 
You yeah. guys uh, won in Honolulu. I believe it was the weekend of Lions San Francisco or Lions. Uh, yeah, well, I think it was that weekend. was going on during the tournament. Yeah. Yes. Um, so I was like, oh man, where do I watch? Um, but yeah, you guys were in Honolulu playing, um, you guys, and then it was Hawaii and with two Hawaii teams. And then who else was it? Stony Brook. Stony so Brook. Us, yep. um, us and Stony Brook from the yep. mainland and then, uh, Hawaii and Hawaii Pacific yep. representing, uh, you know, kind of the Hawaii and university. university of Hawaii has an esports uh, spot, huh? I had uh, no idea. Yeah, so we were actually, it was being held at Hawaii Pacific. Okay. Uh, as an esports space, a very nice esports space. Yeah. Um, the tournament also had a, a high school, there was a high school event that was going on coinciding with it gotcha. as well. So the college aspect and the Hawaii? high school. Hawaii high school esports, huh? Yeah, it's, we got the opportunity while we were out there to actually visit one of the high schools. Yeah. And we did like some combined games, you know, where we like had some of our players yeah. pair up with some of their players and play against each other. And, I mean, not only were like the students, you know, talented players, but like hearing the things that they're doing as a club and kind of the leadership right. that they're bringing to the table. I was very, very impressed with the Hawaii esports ecosystem. And don't go anywhere. We'll have more with the esports director from Michigan State University, Christopher Bilski, right after the break. And here's the rest of our sit down with Chris Bilski, the director of esports at Michigan State University. Check it out. Uh, let's break it down. How did this come about and how was it? Yeah, so it really started, um, our Smash Ultimate team mm -hmm. made the CECC um, championships in Texas last year, yep. where we ended up finishing second. But during that, I was able to make a connection um, with, I don't know if you've ever heard of Vanta. Mm -mm. Um, so Vanta, um, they provide like coaching and different support services, a lot okay. of times for, for high schools. And so, yeah, I got connected, made a, you know, talked about this idea of, hey, we're looking to do this thing, would there be interest? I'm like, Absolutely. <laughs> And so, you know, we, that was in May, this kind of, you know, took a bit to plan out and, mm -hmm. and, in and yeah, it all came kind of together. We were there uh, for like four or five days. We got to do a really cool cultural exchange where, you know, we got to like exchange gifts with the different teams and stuff. Nice. We brought, them a, we brought them a winter hat from, <laughs> <laughs> which I, I they may never have to use but no. I, we, we thought it was a pretty representative gift of, uh, of michigan state we, uh no it was a phenomenal experience um for me and i think all of my players it was their you know our first time ever being in hawaii um they had a little bit of time to actually go like have fun and some of them went surfing and some of them went hiking and you know explored and mm -hmm. uh, you know, I just, I feel really blessed in that we can kind of offer these opportunities to our students. So yeah, you, you had that opportunity, you came out on top, uh, you brought home the surfboard. I think that's what you guys got there for, yes. uh, <laughs> big, big surfboard trophy, yeah, which was awesome. I um, saw the trophy and I'm like, we got to win this. Yeah, this dude. Gotta be, we got to bring this home with us. Do Super Bowl weekend. You guys got to go to Vegas and play Michigan. Um, yeah. what, what esports arena was that at? So first shout out Kevin Palmer in Michigan for helping to make this happen. Mm -hmm. Um, but we played, it wasn't at an arena. Um, there's, have you ever seen the movie Jerry Maguire? Yeah. Yeah. So the movie is based on a gentleman named Lee Steinberg. Mm -hmm. It was a, a sports agent and every year they he put on a Super Bowl party. Yep. And so this is like the 37th year that they've done it. Well, this year they wanted as part of the party to highlight esports. Oh. And so they brought out Michigan and Michigan State. That's cool. Do the event to to play an esports show match at the party. And once again, for all of our students there, it was all their first times in Las Vegas. Nice. You know, that was, you know really cool. I mean, you're there on Super Bowl weekend, yeah, which, which is crazy well, to begin with. Well, a bit chaotic. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you know, it was a really cool experience. Like Drew Brees came and watched the match. Oh, like, that's was, cool. Like you know, a really really cool opportunity for our students to and just. You know, another cool part of being a you know part of Michigan State esports. Man, those kids get that opportunity, and it's all because of what you've done and turned around Michigan State esports here in the last year, year and a half. Um, so hats off to you, and also hats off to Kevin Palmer at Michigan. Um, what's coming out of the Big Ten right now is absolutely amazing. Uh, and also hats off to you for having the number one jersey in esports. Uh, saw that on Twitter yesterday. Uh, it was yes. voted on. You guys won fair and square. Um, it is a tight jersey, by the way. I saw those and I was like, ooh-wee. I don't know if Michigan's is as 
I, I think Michigan's is better, but I'm biased. I'm a U of M kid, so it's fine. You know, the people have spoken. Michigan was in that contest too. That's all I'm saying. That's what you, you know, I think the ones Palmer show me weren't uh, weren't an option for people to choose. I think that's the only reason. But um, if the kids want to get a hold of you, say little Johnny's, you know, grand champ and something, he's like, hey, how do I get a hold of Michigan State? What can they do? So. Email is always a good way to get a hold of me. Mm-hmm. It's Bilski, so my last name, B I L S K I C H at MSU.edu. We'll throw that up on the uh, screen. Good way to get a hold of me. Uh, you can find me on Discord. It's Christopher Bilski. Um, or you can find me on Twitter. Wait, it's X now. On X. You can find me on X uh, <laughs> at Coach Bilski uh, uh, on X. Or, you know, if you want to just, I would encourage you whether. You know, you're a potential recruiter or not, follow along with our esports program in general. Mm-hmm. So we're at esports at MSU on X, Instagram, uh, Twitch, and YouTube. So esports at MSU, like, follow, subscribe. All right, Bilski, we'll get you back on soon, man. Appreciate you. Thank you. I appreciate it. And as always, a huge thank you to our good buddy, Chris Bilski, and also Michigan State University Esports. Now, we have one last segment coming up here on the 1UP XP show. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And thank you so much for joining us for this week's episode of the 1UP XP show. Before we go, we have a special announcement to tell you about. The 1UP XP show has won best in special interest programming for the Michigan Association of Broadcasters. And I can't thank them enough for seeing what we're trying to do. Video games, esports, education, all of it belongs on TV. Be good, stay safe, take care. I'll see you guys next week.